Hello, it's Brian O'Neill with Industrial Power Truck and Equipment. I'm standing in our Louisville shop today and I wanted to do a quick video on our computer carts. Lots of folks have asked us about these um, over the years. So since we just put a bunch of them together, I thought it would be a great time to kind of document what we do and uh, you can use it in uh, your shop if it works for you. Um, everybody that is uh, running a shop spends a ton of money on um, their diagnostic software and the computers and the translators and the connectors that they use for um, diagnosing issues with engines and transmissions. And you've got to have a really good solution for one, protecting the computer and two, making it efficient for your technicians. And we found this system to be um, pretty good. We've been using it for uh, over a decade and it uh, works pretty well. I'm gonna go over all the bits and pieces. We are gonna put a link to every single thing that you're seeing here. So if you wanna go out and get it, you can just grab the link and uh, go purchase it. Um, and I'll start with the cart itself. We buy these from Global Industries and uh, they work really well. Um, what I will say, when you do assemble them, you're gonna wanna use Loctite on all of every single screw, every single nut and bolt, because they will tend to get loose over time if you don't do that, and we've seen that happen. But again, we've had these um, in, in action for over a decade. And on the plastic caps at the bottom, um, you're gonna wanna glue those in, otherwise they'll have a tendency to uh, pop off. But again, if you use Loctite and you glue those in, they're good to go for many, many years. I'll have the cameraman come on up and we'll take a look at this. Um, originally, these come with a little uh, pin that goes across here, a rod to lock in the laptops. And uh, we drill out the uh, rivets and remove the pin and the locking system for that because we find that it just kind of fouls the computer. It gives you a little bit more real estate, makes it a little bit easier to uh, run the wires. Cameraman can come up again and take a look behind. This particular computer is a Panasonic, but most of ours, ours are Dells. We put the battery pack in the back. It fits in there perfectly, and uh, it's Velcroed so that it'll come off super easy. And then I'll lift this computer up. Just from uh, Home Depot, we use a little mat uh, that we put in the bottom, and it uh, cushions the computer perfectly um, and protects it. Looks sharp and uh, gives it some protection. I'll walk on down to the end here, and uh, we'll take a look at this one. Um, on the bottom, we've got, uh, just from the container store, a clear plastic uh, container to hold our uh, OBD2, 6, 9-pin connectors, and it works perfect. Uh, we use that same mat that we've got from the Home Depot uh, to cover the bottom of the box. And you'll see that we use self-tapping screws and some big washers to hold it there um, so that it's not going anywhere. And we're using containers where the actual lid is uh, hinged and connected so that it can't get separated. And one of the really cool things on this, we haven't removed these labels yet, but you're able to just take a look and make sure that you've got all of your uh, connectors in there before you uh, wheel it over to a job site, you know. So you can see if you've got the OBD2, six, nine pin connectors in there. Another thing that we've got, um, shops normally have extension cords running all over the place. They're in high demand. And what we've done is that we've attached um, an extension cord right uh, to the cart, and that works perfect. So the guys are able to unwind it, plug it into the wall, and then charge the, uh, the laptop off of the reel. And if the cameraman comes in, we'll put a link to this. We're just buying this off of Amazon. You can see that there's some washers in there where they shim it. it. Takes about two flat washers, and then it's a perfect fit. And we just drilled uh, straight through. Cameraman can come around and take a look at the back. And uh, again, we've just got two bolts going through there uh, to hold that on. We use the Nex IQ uh, translator. We get those from Chalk's Truck Parts down in uh, Houston. And uh, that, that's just a good uh, bulletproof system, and we've really enjoyed it. One of the keys, again, is so that you can use this and you can roll it around in the shop for your techs to use, but also be able to disassemble it, take it on the road with your mobile techs. And if the cameraman will come in here, just like the battery pack, we've got our translator box just tucked right in the back. Um, so if you need to grab this and go on the road, everything comes off real quickly. Um, we've also got these wire management uh, pieces here. Those just, again, pick them up at uh, Home Depot. 
and you can see I'll turn the cart uh, sideways. They work awesome. Uh, it's just got uh, an adhesive back and they will literally, we've got some of those still in use uh, a decade later. And I think I've covered all of the stuff uh, minus the computers. On the computers, we use the Dell version of a Toughbook and uh, they really, really uh, stand the test of time out in the shop and uh, work well for us, both on these carts and also when our guys take them uh, on the road in the mobile trucks. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this. I think this is a simple, elegant uh, solution uh, to make your techs efficient in the shop and also protect your uh, computer equipment uh, management, manage it, and make sure nothing uh, gets lost. So, hope you enjoyed it. And again, we'll put links to every single thing that's on these carts. And uh, if you want to put them to use in your shop, uh, you'll have access to that. Thank you.